One of the most common scams people fall for when traveling is getting into a taxi once you arrive into your destination, only to discover while en route to your hotel or your final destination that the taxi meter is supposedly broken. What happens is you end up overpaying by sometimes a ridiculous amount. To avoid this, negotiate rates ahead of time or ensure that the taxi meter is in fact working. If you do find yourself in a taxi without a working meter or the driver tells you it was cheaper without it, get out and opt for a different driver. Dream vacations start here. Hey, it's Ben with Ben Tennis Dream Vacations. The next travel scam to watch out for is an overbooked or closed hotel. This happens a lot with taxi drivers while en route to your hotel. They tell you that the hotel is either overbooked or closed or just not a good hotel and instead take you to a more expensive hotel where they receive a nice commission. To avoid this, call the hotel yourself and make sure it's open. Just don't take the taxi driver's word for it. The next scam to watch out for is when someone tells you that the attraction you want to see is closed. You'll find this scam in major tourist areas. A friendly local who happens to speak very good English tells you that the attraction you want to visit is closed for whatever reason. Then they'll guide you to a different attraction or shop where you'll get pressure to purchase something or pay a lot for entry into this other attraction they have taken you to. To avoid this scam, head to the ticket counter of the attraction you are planning to see and check it out for yourself to make sure it's open. Or ask someone nearby if they know if the attraction is in fact closed. The next type of scam is a group photo scam. You're usually going to find this kind of scam happen at a busy tourist location or landmark. A local will come up to you and offer to take a group photo of you and your family or friends. And as you get ready to pose, the local who is going to take your photo has just run off with your expensive camera or phone. To avoid this, make sure you are always the one asking someone to take your group photo, and you are better off asking fellow tourists and returning the favor than some random person offering to take your photo out of the blue. The next type of scam is a free bracelet or rosemary scam. This scam tends to target female travelers, and what happens is a friendly man or woman will approach you and place a free bracelet on your wrist or hand you a sprig of rosemary for good luck. And once you have it, they'll demand money for it. And if you refuse, they will cause a scene. To avoid this, don't allow anyone to put anything on your body, and don't accept anything for free unless there's a very good reason for it. Just ignore those people who are offering you free things and just keep walking. Next scam is the friendly ATM helper scam. As you approach the ATM, someone will come up to you and offer to help you avoid local bank fees. What they really want to do is scan your ATM card with a card skimmer they have in their pocket and watch you enter your PIN number so they can drain your account later. To avoid this, don't let anyone near you when you're at an ATM and always cover the number pad when you're entering your PIN even when you think no one is watching. And if someone approaches you, just abandon that ATM and find another one. The spills on your clothing scam. This is common in Europe. You'll be walking down the street and you'll feel something plop on your shoulders. It'll either be a condiment or bird poop. Then a friendly stranger approaches and begins to wipe off the mess while plucking your wallet or purse. The best thing to do is not allow anyone to help you, but instead find a bathroom and clean off the mess yourself. The next type of scam is the fake police officer scam. This is popular in many large cities. Uh, Someone will come up to you and offer you something illegal or what appears to be illegal like drugs. Then one or two people will approach appearing to be police officers and will sometimes flash their badges to you, but they're not really police officers. They will then ask you to hand over your passport and wallet. To avoid this, never hand over your passport or wallet to anyone. And if someone approaches you appearing to be a police officer, ask for their identification and tell them you'll be calling the police to confirm they are who they say they are. Or tell them your passport is locked away in your hotel and that they need to follow you back to your hotel. And if they refuse, simply walk away. The next type of scam is the injured person or child beggar scam, and I've seen this scam just about everywhere. This is where an injured person or a child will come up to you asking you for money, and naturally, you might have pity on them and give them some of your money, but what you don't know is that someone else is watching you, looking to see where you keep your wallet, and then will later try and pickpocket you. Usually, these beggars are in on the scam and are usually run by gangs. To avoid this, it's nearly impossible to distinguish which beggars are the scammers and which ones are legit. So because of this, I never give cash to the street beggars. Instead, I'll usually offer food or clothing as an alternative. Next is the fake free Wi-Fi hub scam. While you can find Wi-Fi just about anywhere, some of the free unlocked connections can be dangerous. Hackers will set up free Wi-Fi hotspots around tourist areas and eagerly await for you to connect so they can access your computer, passwords, and other sensitive data. To avoid this, use a VPN or ask the coffee shop that you're in which Wi-Fi network is the official one for their shop. The next type of scam is the fake bus or plane ticket scam. This is where someone will offer to sell you bus, train, or plane tickets at a discount or maybe to avoid a long line. Or maybe your taxi driver knows of a local travel agent who can sell you tickets. The problem with this is the tickets they are selling you aren't real and by the time you figure this out, the scammers are long gone with your money. 
To avoid this, always buy tickets from the official ticket counter or from the official ticket office website. And finally, the last scam is the fake front desk scam. While staying at a hotel, you get a call from the front desk in the middle of the night asking you to verify your credit card information. Only it's not the front desk. It's a scammer who will drain your account when he makes a copy of your card using the details you gave him over the phone. To avoid this, never give your credit card information over the phone. Either go down in person to the front desk or hang up and call back the front desk to ask them if they just called you to verify your credit card information. Well, those are some of the most common scams you'll find out there while traveling. Let me know in the comments below if any of these have happened to you or if you've had another scam that we should be aware of. Let us know in the comments below so we can all watch out for them. Make sure to like the video if you found this video helpful to you and consider subscribing to get more travel related videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in a future video. Thank you.